Um, hi, good evening. My name is Adam Bridge. I've been working recently as a product manager at a company called OpenText. We're the largest partner to SAP. Uh, my role at OpenText has been to uh, build a unification solution between Salesforce, the front end with CRM, and the back end of many large industrial companies that are running SAP. OpenText's product is a solution that has a document repository that's closely melded with SAP's solution. One of our early launch customers was a company called KUKA, KUKA Robotics. And they came to us uh, in using both solutions, Salesforce and SAP, and they have wanted to have uh, Salesforce extended as an IoT solution. So I'll talk a little bit today about the world of IoT. That's the Internet of Things, in this case, robots in a factory, and uh, Salesforce.com and ERP systems, how they can be converged together. A lot of things happening in IoT. Um, so in this example, in this situation, a little high-level overview again, uh, CRM at the front, SAP ERP at the back, IoT, well, it could be anywhere. In this case, it's robotics in a factory, Kuga robots, um, how we melded it up together. Uh, Salesforce was used to uh, talk to the robots in the, in the factory. Uh, we had a thing called a solution accelerator that was built on top of an extension of the ECM. That's our document repository that also handles data and information. <clears throat> the asset object had to be added, and so uh, you're familiar with cases and, and uh, um, all, all those kind of objects. We had a special asset one. In this case, the asset is the robot. Uh, and that's also talking to the uh, SAP ERP in the back end. A little bit about our product. Um, you see our melding of our product here, the open text document repository solution in the bottom. It's, you see a file folder structure that's kind of the front end and kind of the, uh, our generation one product. We actually have a gen two and a gen three product out now. Uh, but you see it melded here closely inside the Salesforce uh, solution as the user is inside Salesforce in the classic UI. In this case, we also have a lightning version. Um, so just again, a little high level overview. What we had to do in working with KUKA, we had to modify our solution accelerator. It's basically, basically the XML. <clears throat> Um, we had some more objects we had to come up with, in this case, the asset object, the robot, and um, meld this into the uh, Salesforce UI. When the robot has a problem in the factory, it sends a note over and says a flag within the factory and opens up a case. There's case creation that occurs automatically, and a technician then knows they got to go do some work and check out what happened with that factory. Maybe it's a car factory, it's making cars, what's going on there. Um, so just a little quick overview, we have the KUKA robot going on, something goes wrong, it makes an IoT case creation. Um, it creates the case and it goes into the workspace. The workspace is our file folder structure thing that you saw there at the bottom of the UI. Um, technician is going to look into this thing, um, says the cause, resolve the issue, and then reports and then close the case out uh, in the workspace. Mm, we already saw that. And that's me in a nutshell. Thanks for everybody.